everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Last night me and my boyfriend Rul took the night bus from Gordoba to Salta. The bus ride took almost 13 hours and we've just arrived to our accommodation. We are staying in Salta, so a city in northern Argentina and we're going to be staying here for at least the three next nights exploring the province of Salta and the northern parts of Argentina. As said, we took a night bus last night, so I'm not feeling super fresh at the moment and because of that I am currently in my bikini and I am going to head to the pool that we have here at our accommodation. That was pretty much the reason why we chose to stay where we are staying now because we knew it was gonna be hot and we knew having a swimming pool would be a blessing so yeah my plan for now before starting to explore is to relax a little bit take a dip in the pool and refresh and yeah try to recover a little bit from the almost 13 hour long bus ride I'm currently filming for the first time ever with my new action camera it has a dive case on though right now so I have a feeling you won't hear me very well, but I'll put some subtitles. Oh, I didn't know it gets deeper. <laughs> I was not prepared for that at all. morning today we woke up early because we're going on a tour we've just been picked up with our little bus we're gonna be out touring all day pretty much so I'm excited have made our first little pit stop where to have some drinks and use the bathroom. Can you hear how loud the cicadas maybe or something are? Crazy, like can you even hear me? We have been driving alongside the most beautiful road by this like gorge and mountains and now we stopped to be able to get some pictures and wow it, it looks almost surreal it's so beautiful here continues to the next place. Now we have arrived to a place known as the Devil's Throat. The surroundings here are absolutely stunning. Now we've come to a place that's supposed to be like a natural amphitheater. Like apparently the acoustics of this place is as good as at a theater. So let's check it out and see if that's true. Hello? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, if it's working, then it's more like over there I'm gonna hear it, not like. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Ru? You still listening here? <laughs> <Not looking>. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> We can hear the bird very well. Yeah. We 
have stopped for another picture point and it's so pretty this tour has been amazing so far i must say now arrived to a vineyard and we're gonna be doing a tour here and some wine tasting and yeah I don't actually drink alcohol very often because I get migraines from them but maybe I can taste a little bit let's see I guess it's a bit of a thing to do here in Argentina is to visit the vineyard and try the famous wines from here of getting a migraine from the red wine but I'm gonna try this white wine it's supposed to be sweet and like a dessert wine let's try cheers oh that's really good I actually like wine when it's sweeter and not necessarily the dry ones I know it's maybe controversial I feel like most people like dry white wine but I actually prefer it sweet this one's really good back in Salta and we've come for some dinner to a very Argentinian looking restaurant. morning it is the next day and today we're actually gonna spend the day here in Salta and explore this city because it is called Salta the beautiful so I think it sounds like it is worth exploring and now for our first destination we've just jumped on a taxi and we are heading to the cable cars that they have here We are on the cable car now. There's no air conditioning in here though, so it might be a bit of a hot ride. <laughs> but let's hope the views at the top will be worth it. We have reached the top and as you can see from my face, it was indeed very, very hot in the cable car, sitting right in the sun.
did not go well. <laughs> Oops. down from the little mountain and next we're gonna go into the city of Salta and there's this one museum that we really want to visit that's supposed to be really really good We have come back to our hostel. Unfortunately, that museum was closed. I really wanted to go to it. It was supposed to have like some of the best mummies in the world and stuff. And apparently it's a very good museum. I don't know why it was closed because according to everything, it should have been open, but for whatever reason, it was closed today. But maybe if you're in Salta, you can go and visit it and then you can let me know if it was nice or not. For now, I think we're just gonna relax today a little bit because we've been going, going, going all the time. We're now gonna head to the pool and have a bit of a dip. Yesterday evening we didn't do much after our little dip in the pool, we mostly just relaxed and I edited a video and that kind of stuff. And today is actually our last morning here in Salta. I kind of wish we would have had even more time here because I feel like there's so much to do. There would have been probably at least 10 more tours we could have done. There was one tour I really still wanted to do and then we actually did try and extend our stay but it wasn't possible and then it got a bit complicated. So. We have decided to move to the next place, but no can do. So today we are taking the bus to the next town. I'll still vlog that to this vlog. Um, but yeah, we are currently having breakfast here at our hostel. It's nice because uh, at this accommodation, breakfast is actually included, so yeah. Here you can see a bit what we got. Some breads and croissants and juice and that kind of stuff. to check out and head towards the bus station oh yeah I never showed our room we had a private room but it's really random it has like four separate beds but we just put two beds together but yeah it was nice we had air conditioning so <laughs> that's always the most important but yeah now let's uh, go and try and get a taxi and go to the bus station On the bus, I got a window seat. I'm hoping that we would see some nice views on the way actually because we are like driving through the northern parts of Argentina, so maybe we could see a glimpse of a rainbow mountain or something. That was one of the excursions I wish we could have still done here in Salta, 
but um, it just means I have to come back to Argentina someday. I also really want to explore the southern parts of Argentina. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, bus ride is supposed to take like seven and a half hours, something like that. So yeah, let's hope it won't feel too long. But it's actually the shortest bus ride we've had so far on this trip. But then again, all the other bus rides have been night buses, so then we've been sleeping. So yeah. We have arrived and just checked in to our accommodation for the night. We decided to stay a night here and not cross the border to Bolivia immediately because it just felt like too much for one day. And yeah, we're quite high up in altitude, like I said, we're at like 3,500 meters. I'm not sure if that's the reason why, but I'm having like an awful headache and not feeling the best. And I'm thinking it might be because of the altitude, who knows? Good morning, it is the next day. Yesterday evening I ended up not filming very much because honestly I had like the strongest headache and what I googled it did seem like it was the high altitude headache because it was like all in my forehead and stuff and yeah I really like it felt like someone was like sitting on my forehead and it, it hurt so much. Luckily the reception here at our hotel gave me some painkillers and I think I fell asleep already around 9 p.m. or something. So yeah, luckily the beds in our room are very comfortable. So I feel like I slept very well. And last night there was also like a proper thunderstorm. So that made it a bit cozy as well. And thankfully, thankfully, I am feeling much better today, which is good because today we are crossing the border over to Bolivia and I need to be a bit sharp for that because we have a bunch of things we still need to figure out today and th stuff and if i would have had the headache that i had yesterday still today and having to do all of that i don't know how i would have survived to be honest this marks the end of our time here in argentina i really loved argentina i think it's great but i also feel like we only scratched the surface this country is huge and yeah, we definitely only saw a very small part of it. Someday I'd like to return and explore the more southern parts of Argentina, do like a proper Patagonia tour and visit Ushuaia, that's like really in the southern tip and stuff. But we decided to skip it on this trip now because it's a bit more of a pricey thing to do and I feel like it's more fun if you have really like proper proper hiking gear which we don't really have so yeah we have decided that we're gonna do like a Patagonia trip separately some other time and not on this trip so yeah I'm definitely gonna come back to Argentina someday I'm gonna end this video here and start the next video when we head to Bolivia so yeah Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if there's anything on your heart. And remember to also subscribe to my channel to join the journey and to join us to Bolivia as well. I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.
Thank you.